Hello and welcome to another travel vlog or travel photography vlog. So after all those focus on videos, I thought it would be time to yeah, show you a little bit of the world again. So I came here to one of the Greek islands, Crete, which is the biggest. So I will have two weeks here to explore this beautiful island. So I'm not exploring every part of it. I'm focusing on a few parts and we've come to the western, northwestern part now and down there in the distance, hope you can see it because clouds rolled in just after I scrambled up this hill. There's the most famous beach on this island, which is Balos Beach. And the waters just look so awesome. And I figured this hill here on which I'm standing now would be a nice place to photograph it. Only as I took my time scrambling up here, clouds moved in and obscured most of the view because in that direction in the clouds, there's a nice jagged peak which I thought would also look nice in the photo. And I'm really here now for scouting. So sunset is in that direction and I'm here a week. So I'll likely come back for sunset. But first I wanted to see what's the photo spot like because I haven't seen photos from this spot. There's um, no trail going up here. So you're just scrambling up Yeah, the slope. Not too hard actually. So it's a lot of fun more fun than driving here because it's nine kilometers of gravel road and with those small cars it's very slow going so i'd rather hike up here a few times than driving up here so i have to make it count the few times i return and now yeah i just have to wait because i want to see this view that's important for scouting uh, just to see what you are coming back to photograph because could be this view is not so nice and then i want to take a photo from the other side maybe up from that mountain so that's what I'm doing now, trying to figure out where are the best vantage points. And yeah, for now, just gonna wait a bit more and then continue exploring. So after the failed scouting attempt at Balos Beach, I'm now here in Chania at the old harbor. I just wanted to show you this place because this is also some where you can go to take photos if there are, for example, no clouds. So you've heard it from me in previous videos. If you don't have an interesting sky, it's always an option to head to a beautiful city and take some blue hour photos, which is what I'm doing this morning. So I have the harbor here with the lighthouse on the side, which is basically uh, sitting in the right side of my composition to balance the shot, then some street lights behind me and this bench here in the foreground. So a very simple shot. It's not very spectacular, but a nice photo to take just to get this trip here started. And yeah, if you're ever on Crete and looking for something to photograph when you have boring light, I think this is a good place to come to. Okay, I now take the photo. Hopefully it looks nice and I'm gonna show it now. So it's been now two days since I shot the last part of this video. A little bit frustrating in terms of photography because last two days nothing but blue skies. So if I was here for holidays it would be perfect. Crystal clear waters, beautiful sunny weather. But for landscape photography it's not ideal. You have landscapes like this here which are very spectacular but without any clouds it's not really working out because you see usually photographing the coast you have some cliffs but in some part of the image there's always the sky and if you have such a jagged landscape just a clear blue sky or even an orange sky at even uh, in the evening doesn't really work out so I need something to balance it as you can see this evening there are clouds and I'm really hoping that the sun when it comes through there in a few minutes will give me some beautiful soft light here on those rocks because I really need that and then I can finally take my first real landscape photo. I mean it's three or four days in already I haven't taken a landscape shot so that's a bit frustrating but yeah that's just what happens. I can't influence the weather and that's often the case during my travels. Sometimes I just don't take any good photos for a few days. If it happens right in the beginning, this can be a bit frustrating because yeah, you just need that first shot when you start a trip. And yeah, hopefully this evening it happens. Not sure yet because at the horizon you also see 
there's a thick band of coastal fog and yeah the sun it doesn't have the power now so it really needs to lighten up those rocks but it seems not to happen so i have the composition set up here so those rocks here in the foreground also some of those bushes then a prominent rock there in the middle and then in the back so a very yeah simple composition beautiful water on the side i'm using a polarizer to bring out the structures beneath the surface so yeah everything's set up now i'm just needing or <laughs> i'm just uh, waiting for the light so if it's not happening today maybe tomorrow so i think i'm gonna come back here because it's such an awesome spot and also when the light's gone i have to be quick because the way back to the car is a little treacherous on those rocks but yeah that's how it is with landscape photography <laughs> you always have to stay until the light's gone okay so yeah now i'm gonna do just that and hopefully i'm gonna take a photo So it's now the next day here in Crete and it's pretty windy as you can see and yeah I decided well it's windy what better to do than hike up a mountain <laughs> might not have been the best decision but actually the views are fantastic and there are clouds moving by I just have to make sure that my camera doesn't fall over and now if you look in that direction you see when the sun peeks through the clouds there's actually some nice light on the landscape some nice dappled light and yeah that's what i'm waiting for those hills there in the background when they catch light i want to take a photo um, i'm not sticking around for sunset i think because long exposures won't work anyway with that wind i'm already at iso 400 making sure to keep the exposure times beneath one hundredth of a second just to make sure i get everything sharp and yeah that's also a day in crete first few days just sunshine no wind now clouds wind but I actually like it so that's what makes it very interesting to travel and to visit such places when the weather changes it usually makes for good photo opportunities so I really hope to take a photo and then later I have to hike down again <laughs> which can be tricky if the wind picks up but yeah well I'm gonna manage okay for now hope to show you a photo now and also i hope the audio is any good with that wind so the vlog here on crete continues with yet another spectacular view if you remember a few days ago i already showed you this bay i was up there in the background on this hill and i was shooting basically into this direction here where I'm now standing so I thought this bay looks so awesome I just have to see if there are other perspectives and sure enough I found it so what you see here in the foreground are some incredibly jagged rocks so with nice structures and it's just the perfect foreground then I have some of those rocks in the background then even a little mountain with cliffs in the background so it's a nice repetition throughout and also this whole structure here is basically broken up by some greenery which I think is very nice to make this photo a bit more interesting otherwise I would just have rocks and now I also have some greenery and yeah I'm now waiting for the sun to peek through beneath the clouds on the left so I hope for some nice side light also the sun will just set behind this rock here on the left in the frame so if those clouds stick around and the gap at the horizon which I'm currently seeing stays intact then i'm gonna have some very spectacular light here also side light on those mountains you already see it so yeah i'm just very happy to be here and if you would look behind the camera it's just black so uh, very dark clouds i hope i don't get too wet because it looks like there could be some rain but yeah i brought an umbrella so i just stick around here and wait for hopefully some awesome light today so yeah fingers crossed Hopefully it works out. So it's finally time to show you Barlos Beach without clouds. Actually now without any clouds also not so nice. So last time, first day I was here scouting, the view was completely clouded in. Now we don't have any clouds but 
just look at it how beautiful this is the lagoon there in the background the colors are just awesome especially around noon actually when sun's directly above it the waters are so turquoise it's just awesome so definitely if you're ever on Crete yeah pay this place a visit now I'm here around sunset and yeah problem is without clouds this will not work so I already thought about getting out the long lens seeing if I can zoom in on some details but what I really want to photograph the photo I'm missing for this week first week here in Crete is yeah this view and I have now tried to compose it in a way that might work but it also might not work because it's not really balanced so we have three parts to the photo so the sky in the top which is just empty that's not ideal then we have the middle part those islands and the sea this works foreground now those rocks I took my time to find a patch of rocks here which is not too crowded not too structured but still it's nothing to balance the sky so you have structures detail in the foreground in the lower part of the frame and then nothing at all in the upper part of the frame this usually is not so ideal in terms of balance also if you see there in the background there's a band of clouds coastal fog don't know what it is but it's there and it will swallow the sun likely 15 minutes before or 10 minutes before actual sunset so just when the light would be getting nice sun will be gone and i'm not sure if i get any good colors in the sky so yeah still gonna take the photo just to show it to you also just as a reference shot because yeah i already decided i have to visit crete once more in the future uh, it's just such an awesome place and it's so much to explore so if you're here if you just want to see the popular spots you already can take one or two weeks but then there's so much more i just did a few hikes and yeah everywhere you can find something to photograph it seems so i really need more time and we'll be back for now gonna take this photo then head off to the east side the second part of this trip here on crete and yeah hopefully also find such beautiful places and maybe not that beautiful because it's really yeah the most popular beach and for good reason but i'm sure i'm gonna find some other views on the other side of the island till then i'll show you the photo and either i continue with this video or there's gonna be a second video